been to the top of the tower? Yeah. Yeah, it's rubbish. It is? Well, the guidebook says it's a must-see. Well, you lot ain't going up there. Pardon me? Why? I mean, it's all windy stairs. I'm not being funny. What exactly are you trying to say? What exactly am I trying to say? Is there a bunch of fucking elephants? Fight you. Come on, leave it, Fuzzy. You know you're just the rudest man. The rudest man. What's all that about? They're not going up there. Hey, guys, I wouldn't go up there. It's really narrow. Screw you, motherfucker! Americans, isn't it? I used to hate history, didn't you? It's all just a load of stuff that's already happened. What are they doing over there? They're filming something. They're filming midgets. Ray. <laughs> so, on this scene, you're supposed to walk like a little tiny mouse, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Five-year-old has dropped all his sweets. I didn't agree to that. At the same time as trying to lead a good life, I have to reconcile myself with the fact that, yes, I have killed people. Not many people. Most of them are not very nice people, apart from one person. Who's that? Uh, this fellow, Danny Alaban's brother. He's just trying to protect his brother. He's like you or I would. Just a lollipop man. He came at me with a bottle. What are you going to do? Shot him down. Hmm. In my book, though, sorry. If someone comes at you with a bottle, that is a deadly weapon. He's got to take the consequences. I know that in my heart. I also know that he's just trying to protect his brother, you know? I know, but a bottle, that can kill you. It's a case of it's you or him. If he come at you with his bare hands, that'd be different. I mean, that wouldn't have been fair. Well, technically, your bare hands can kill somebody, too. They can be deadly weapons, too. I mean, what have you knew karate, say? You said he was a lollipop man. He was a lollipop man. What's a lollipop man doing on fucking karate? I'm just saying. How old is he? About 50. Well, what's a 50-year-old lollipop man doing on fucking karate? What was he, a Chinese lollipop man? Jesus, Ken. Tell me how sane. That's for John Lennon, you yanking fucking cunt. <laughs> a bottle. Now don't bother. Leaving. That's not going to help you, man. Right. That's the only place in that gun. Oh. 
Hick, don't. Now, who's the fucking bum boy? You, you fucker. Ah! Ah! Chloe, what exactly is going on here? I can't see. I can't see. Of course you can't fucking see. I just shot a blank in your fucking eyes. Hey, what? Back off, shorty. You don't know karate. Ah! Don't say you didn't have a cover. Sorry, right? I'm sorry. Behind the thing. What the fuck are you doing, Ray? What the fuck are you doing? Nothing. This whole being in Bruges thing. Just to give you one last joyful memory before you died. In Bruges? I've got to quite like Bruges now. It's like a fucking fairy tale or something. An inanimate fucking object. You're an inanimate fucking object! You're Irish? Yes. What is your name? Um... Derek Pearl Fleur. You heed the Canadian. Huh? You heed the Canadian. I heed the Canadian. I don't know what you're talking about. That's him. That's the motherfucker. Oh, yeah, now I'm getting down to it. Harry, let's face it. I'm, I'm not being funny. I mean, no disrespect. But you're a cunt. You're a cunt, Nell. You've always been a cunt. And the only thing that's going to change is you're going to become an even bigger cunt. Maybe you have some more cunt kids. Leave my kids fucking out of here. What have they done? You fucking retract that bit about my cunt fucking kids. I retract that bit about your cunt fucking kids. Insulted my fucking kids? That's going overboard, mate. I retracted it, didn't I? Still leaves you being a cunt. You have fucking got that. I'm not fighting. Nothing to you just because you're standing about like Robert fucking Powell. Fuck, man. Maybe that's what hell is. The entire rest of eternity spent in fucking Bruges. <laughs> 